Hello and welcome to a setup video about uh, an MQTT broker on a Raspberry Pi. Okay. We are going to use an MQTT broker called Mosquito. Uh, it's working pretty well and we're going to install it on a Raspberry Pi. All you need is a fresh, or not that fresh installation of Raspberry Pi, it doesn't really matter. You need to have a running Raspberry Pi. If you have it uh, with or without screen, it doesn't, also doesn't really matter. As long as you can connect with an SSH shell, like PuTTY, something like this, uh, you're fine to run this MQTT broker software. I will show it on the desktop of, of uh, Raspberry OS, but you can do it also just in an SSH uh, window. So, typical desktop, uh, and I am calling now this Raspberry Pi shell. Uh, the main, or the, the good thing is that uh, this uh, Mosquito is part of the so-called repository. Okay, a repository, it's something like an app store. You can simply download software there. It's not that convenient like an app store. You need to type a little bit. So, to update, to update the list of our app store, what is available, we simply have to use the following command sudo apt get update. After calling this, the packages and so on will be downloaded from somewhere from the App Store and we will get information on, on what we what packages are available. Then it's usually a good idea to also upgrade. This means the installed packages. Uh, the installed packages are now upgraded to the latest version. Usually it should not take that long. Depends a little bit when you have done this the last time. Okay. Good. Now we are ready. Now we are ready to install Mosquito. To install Mosquito, uh, you have to use this command sudo super user do this means apt get uh, install and now mosquito and mosquito clients we're installing both uh, we're installing both packages mosquito is the broker and mosquito clients we will install that we can already test if the mosquito broker is working or not uh, so book that's it uh, now it is installed will take a little while to download and install the software and after that it's done. After that this thing here even starts already the MQTT broker so we could already use it. <laughs> However this is maybe not that good of an idea huh? since uh, we do want to have this password protected somehow. To check, to check if this is working, I will now subscribe to a certain topic. Book. Now I've subscribed. Now we're waiting. I will now open a second, second window, and here I will publish something. This is actually why we used why we used uh, the clients also. Now I'm publishing Servus alle miteinander, yeah. which means hello. Yeah. And ooh, here it is. Uh, here we received Servus alle miteinander. So it seems like MQTT is working. Yeah. Because here I subscribed 
to the topic heights. Here I send something to the topic heights and this what I have sent here, I received here. Looks good. Huh? So, I've never entered the password. So you see, it's not working pretty well. Uh, or it's working pretty well, but everybody can post or receive or something. It's open. Huh? We want to have it a little bit more secure. Okay. Therefore, we're going to stop the service. Huh? We're using system control stop mosquito service. Okay. Bok. Now it is stopped. It is not. It's not running anymore. Huh? Now we are creating, creating a password file. Yeah. This is not the correct one. Now we are creating a password file. It looks like this. Mosquito is also prepared with a password file um, utility. It's called Mosquito PSVDWD. Yeah. And we create it. We create it in the directory etc mosquito and the file is named password. And hdl underline stp. This is our first user. We create now a new file with one user called hdl stp. Book. Now I'm asked about a password and I'll enter a password. You see, this is, I typed in something, but here it's not shown, that's Unix ty typical behavior. Uh, I have to re-enter the password, and now that's it. Uh, now I've set the password file. Just because I've set the password file doesn't mean it's used by MQTT. So I also need to change the configuration file. Okay? To change the con configuration file, I call a text editor called Nano, which is working inside the window. So I will do Nano and open the file etc mosquito mosquito conf. This file looks like this, and all I need to do is to add two more lines to this file. I add password file and I exactly name the password file I just created. And I say, I do not allow anonymous users anymore. Yeah? You have to identify, you have to enter a password. This is allow anonymous false. Okay. Now I can end this. I have to save this with control X. I'm ending this, it's asking, hey, it was changed, do you want to save it? I select yes. With that configuration file, now it's changed. Okay. And the only thing I have to do right now is to start the mosquito service again. And book. sudo system control start mosquito service. Finalized. Now our MQTT broker Mosquito shall be running on our Raspberry Pi with the selected use and the selected password. That's it. Server's ready. Yeah. I mean, we could try. We could try to subscribe again with the same command. I will simply use it from the list. Subscribe, say, ah, connection refused, not authorized, <laughs> so I need to have a password. Good, yeah? Yep. So, this is how you set up a Raspberry Pi with MQTT broker Mosquito. How to use it will be described in other videos. For this time, thank you very much for listening. Goodbye.